Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 9th to January 15, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone. But if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing for all the new subscribers, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way, so please be careful not to get scammed. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups in reverse. We also have here the Tower in reverse, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, Emperor in reverse, Ace of Swords. All right, so in regards to your energy for the weak Aries, let me take a quick look. Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Cups, oh, a lot of water. Hmm. A lot of emotions um, coming up to the surface from the looks of it here. Ooh, Ten of Cups, Hangman, wow. Justice in Reverse, Eight of Swords, Empress. Two of Pentacles. Okay, you're a little bit conflicted, definitely. You're very much in your feelings. You're very much in your emotions. You're trying to figure something out. You want to be happy, definitely. There's a, there's a theme here of wanting to be happy, wanting to be content. Wanting to be satisfied, wanting to be fulfilled in some aspect. It's interesting because it's a feeling like it's almost like it's almost there. It's almost like you can feel something is is almost there or Almost like you can touch it or you can feel it, like you can sense something big is going to happen or something big is meant to happen for you, but you don't see it, you know? You don't see the signs. You're not witnessing the manifestation of what you want. And I feel like you're trying not to lose hope Mm -hmm. I feel like you're trying not to lose hope, but it's hard. It's hard because you feel like you're just not seeing anything of, of what you want to see. 
you're not seeing any evidence of things working out for you. On the contrary, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, you might feel like, you know, nothing you do works out or nothing you try to do or to try to manifest in your life works out. And you're kind of feeling a little defeated, but you're not defeated. You're not. You're still, you're still hanging in there with the hangman. You're still hanging in there. You're still um, trying to hold on to the faith or the hope that you'll reach this happily ever after that you want so badly. What is this uh, Two of Pentacles? Let's take a look at that one. Yeah, and the Eight of Swords too, um, Spirit. Let's do the Two of Pentacles first. Clarify that card, please, Spirit. Oh, okay. So we have the star in reverse, clarifying the two of pentacles. So you're trying to decide if you should give up on something or not. That's what you're going back and forth about. Should I give up on this? Should I not give up on this? You know. So I am seeing a relationship here with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I mean, there's something here that has a lot of potential. There's some sort of relationship here that you have in your life that has a lot of potential. And you see the potential here for growth and for expansion and for success. But for some reason, you're trying to decide if you should give up on it or not. I don't know why. We'll take a look at that. What's the Eight of Swords about, Spirit? Or are you between two people? Some of you are between two people. I don't know. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Oh. Here are fonts. Okay. There's a question about commitment or about who you want to commit to or if you want to commit. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. This looks like you have two options here, some of you, um, Aries. We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. It's there's two queens here, and we have the Hierophant here. Okay. So some of you are not sure to whom you want to commit to. Or you might be waiting to see if somebody this makes this makes the decision to commit to you what's the queen of cups doing this is what the queen of cups is doing look at that king of wands in reverse and the nine of pentacles there's definitely a question about commitments Okay. Do I want to commit to this or not? Because it does look like you're very attached to this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is basically an energy of being single, being independent, living on your own, doing things on your own, not being responsible for anything or anyone, just yourself. 
So it doesn't look like you're attached to that energy. So there's either a question of whether, like, should I commit or should I not commit? Or um, you also might be trying to decide to whom should I commit if, I ha if you have two options, which some of you might have two options here. Hmm. Your energy is definitely confusing here. Okay, emperor in reverse here. Because it does look like you want this, but at the same time, it looks like you want this Ten of Cups. Like you want this happily ever after. You know, you want this, you want to embrace this potential for growth and success in a relationship. But at the same time, it does look like you are scared of it. It's like you want it, but you're scared of it at, all at the same time. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's look at your person because I feel like I might get some more clarity from your person. I think that will help to put the pieces together here. It's a little confusing. Hopefully that made sense to you. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Jeez, what is this commitment energy here? Two of swords at the bottom of the deck. There is a big theme about commitments. We have two big commitment cards here. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant card. Mm, I don't know, let's see. Ten of Pentacles, Judgment in Reverse. The... Eight of Swords, Three of Swords in Reverse, King of Wands, and the Hierophant. So whoever you're connecting to, Aries, are you two mirroring each other? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so there's, there's a push and pull going on between you and this person. Both of you want commitment, but both of you are also scared of commitment at the same time. Both of you see the potential with each other, but both of you are also scared of that potential at the same time. So things are stuck here, basically. Th things have become stuck between you and this person because you're mirroring each other. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what else. Two of Swords, Hangman in Reverse, and the Page of Wands in Reverse. Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands with the Death card. Fool in Reverse, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups. Wow. Hmm. This person's kind of pushing you away, Aries. Damn, this pushing, this, yeah, they're pushing you away. Mm -hmm. They're pushing you away. It looks like they're walking away also with the Eight of Cups. It, their fear is, 
is stronger than their willpower, basically, with the King of Wands. Might be dealing with a fire sign, another fire sign. We also have Pisces and Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Aquarius here. Could be any sign though. But yeah, I feel like their, their fear seems to be at least for this week. This is only for a week, so their fears their fear is stronger than their willpower. It looks like this person is trying to walk away from this situation, this relationship, this connection. And it looks like they're trying to just focus on themselves, focus on their work, their career, their finances. Um looks like they're trying to escape with the three of wands they're trying to escape the the pressure that they feel with you the the pressure because they they feel pressure to to make a decision mm-hmm um, whether, you know, for better or for worse, they feel pressure to make a decision for better or for worse. But I almost feel like this person doesn't know what to do. So they instead, it looks like they're just choosing to walk away and kind of escape the situation and, you know, you know just try not to focus on it anymore. Try not to think about it anymore. Try, you know, they're trying to just keep themselves busy and distracted because they don't know what to do with the Eight of Swords. And they're just not, they don't feel confident to make any sort of final decision. So it looks like they're postponing things here with the Two of Swords. It's like they're they're delaying forward movement between you and them. They're delaying it, they're postponing it. They're, they might be even ending things with the death card and the, and the eight of cups. They might even be ending things with you, but it doesn't feel like that's their final decision. It looks like they're ending things for now, you know, you know? It's like for now, I don't, doesn't look like this person is 100% you know, committed to that decision of completely walking away or like permanently walking away. You know, at least, you know, internally with the Eight of Swords, this person still feels confused. They still feel conflicted. They still feel... Um, unsure about what they're doing but they feel like right now the only thing they can do is walk away because they don't feel like they have the personal stability at least like mental stability or emotional stability to make a confident decision mm -hmm. This person does feel a lot of passion for you. I can see that. There's a strong energy of passion and a strong energy of attraction. And I also and I, I can also see this person sees you as somebody very valuable. They definitely see the value in you. What's the Eight of Swords about, Spirit? Okay, we have the Six of Wands. So, yeah, this person, they're very attached to their independence with the Six of Wands. Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands. They're attached to their independence. They're attached to um, their lifestyle of doing everything on their own. 
and just being someone who's free to do whatever they want, whenever they want. It doesn't look like they've experienced um, com a commitment before in relationships. Um, not really. Doesn't look like they've actually experienced what it means to be in a in a committed relationship, you know. So it looks like it's almost like they're looking at it like it's like it's something foreign, you know, like it's something unfamiliar to them. I do feel like they're interested though. I don't I'm not getting that they're not interested. I feel like they are interested. It's just that it looks like they're just confused because they don't know if they're ready for they don't know if they're ready to make those changes because you know that is a big change in in regards to you know how they've been living their life for the past, I don't know how, how long, how many years, whatever it might be. It doesn't look like this person has the tendency to escape from, from pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see, Aries. I am going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.